People ask Reddit. What is the worst place you had sex? In the woods. The ducking flying insects love to be up in your face. While sitting on a tree stump that was home to a colony of termites. That did not end well. A construction site on a windy day. Sand and dust everywhere. Hot leather sofa. I'm still stuck to it to this day. Did they ever call you back to cast you? My childhood house had an enclosed porch that was level with my parents' bedroom window. It's hard to explain. You couldn't see into the porch from the window, but if the porch windows were open and the bedroom windows were open, you could hear everything from either room. So my now husband and I were trying to have sex in that porch, having opened the windows cause it was hot AF. My parents usually never opened their window and it was past 10, when they usually went to sleep. We weren't trying to be loud, but apparently we were. After we were done, I checked my phone and I had 5 missed calls and a text from my mother saying we can hear everything and please at least use a condom. We didn't acknowledge it at the time but my mom got drunk a few years ago and told my aunt the story and said she was worried she was hearing the conception of her grandchild. What's worse than hearing your parents have sex? Hearing your kids have sex? A tree house that was actually a plywood shack on 6 stilts. It was pretty old and the plywood was splintery, so he laid down an old towel for me, you know, like a gentleman. Also it was too small for me to fit in any direction, so my head stuck out the door. I stared at the sky and just, waited for him to be done. And that's the story of how I lost my virginity. A close second would be the bed in his semi-abandoned house full of the semi-abandoned hoarded belongings of his mother. But that's a different story. It was on the edge of a cliff, but it was such an awkward position that my knees hurt from being on the ground. The scenery was beautiful though. After a drunken night on 6th Street in Austin, girl and I were walking down Red River Street. She drags me in this bushy grassy area, we go at it, finish, call an Uber to West Campus, continue going in. The next day, we are super itchy, come to find later it was poison ivy, got it all over our genitals. Fun times. 10 tenths would do it again though. Outside on a blanket by a lake. Sounds romantic, right? The mosquitoes thought so too. Tool shed in the backyard of a house in Hawaii. Naked on my hands and knees going at it when my guy says, shit and brushes something off my back. Feel something land on my forearm and see a huntsman spider as big as my hand scuttling down my arm and into the shadows. I scream and sit up and see the ceiling of the tool shed is even more huntsman spiders. Crawled out of there like Gollum and hid in the bushes. Made him bring me my clothes and shake them out hard before I took them from him. My ex was from a family of hoarders. This was late high school slash early college so he was still living with them. He slept on a futon mattress on the floor and you had to jump from the doorway to the mattress. There was nowhere to step in between. On top of literal piles of garbage and clothes, he kept his used dishes right next to the mattress. I think I'm a germaphobe now, some 12 years later, as a direct result. Anyway, we were starting to get frisky and I was mostly naked when I started to feel a little tickle on my butt. I tried to ignore it but it didn't go away. I looked down just in time to watch a spider crawl up from between my legs, across my puss, and onto my stomach. I screamed and smacked it until it died, but it killed the mood, to say the least. Edit, y'all. I was 16 and I was made of hormones. I would never do this now. I know it was gross. In the woods, with about 50 young bulls that were very interested in everything that was going on. We sneaked in and out of that field about three times to try and shake them off but as soon as you make a sound, they all come running over to watch, with no concept of personal space. We ended up making a barrier out of branches to try and hold them off but the duckers just broke right through it in seconds. It was like shot of the dead but the zombies only want to lick you instead of eat you. Have you ever been licked by a bull? It feels like someone stroking your back with a fish dipped in egg whites. I would say I'm never doing that again but we went back probably 7 or 8 times. Luckily the cows were always distracted by some sheep in the next field. This is one of the many joys of having parents that don't knock before entering a room. Believe me, if I could not duck in front of a mooing audience, I would. Edit, just to clarify, the bulls were spectators, not participants despite how hard they tried. The back of a Volkswagen. A campground shower. 
People came in the bathroom while in the throes and we had to just stand still like we were avoiding a raptor attack until they left because they otherwise would have heard the ball slapping passion from behind a dinky stall door. Did I mention I was bent over, blood rushing to my head and water in my face? Still with the guy though. He's a charmer. Beach. Sandy balls and box. Bugs in my butt. Dog turds close by. No thanks. So sex on the beach is a myth we have been fed by the entertainment industry. If you love having sex with 60 grit sandpaper then have at it. It is like banging a craftsman belt sander on slow. 3 AM leaving the club, got lucky but we didn't have the patience walk to one of our places. So we stopped walking home and did it in a park. Walked past the park the next day to see it was actually a graveyard. Back seat of her born again Christian dad's car. We uh, broke the back seat and left a lingering weird teenage hormone sex smell in the car. He was pissed. Bottom of cliff next to the ocean. Turns out I have an allergic reaction to coral and my back was scratched the duck up from it. It was windy, wet, and itchy. Runner up is a movie theater. My wife once thought it would be cool to try and give me a hand job with a snowball on a trail in the woods. Icy snow is scratchy. Edit, I will try softer, fresh fallen snow and report back someday. Not me, but a friend of mine had sex with a girl in the helicopter of a McDonald's play place. He's never going to live that one down. Here comes the happy meal. In the pool. Water is not a good lubricant. A public park. It was in high school, and it was like 6 AM there was no one there at least but still. There's this one time during which my ex and I both got really horny in the middle of the countryside. We headed for a small forest, took a quick walk in it and did the deed in a small clearing. Sex was good, but while putting my clothes back on, I spotted this camo painted hunting camera, that's triggered by movement. It was of course pointing at us the whole time. Let's just say that this poor guy lost his footage. At my friend's place, after having 8-9 to nine shots of vodka we decided to bang each other. We removed our clothes quickly and got into cowgirl position. Couple seconds later I remembered she puked on the floor, and my back was lying directly on it. Didn't move from there until we changed positions. Good times. Hope there were no kisses involved. I can neither confirm nor deny it. Not sure if it counts, but I once has a sleep paralysis, wet dream. It was terrifying. Met a girl online and we tried to do it at the park. A cop showed up before we started and told us we had to leave. We went back to our cars which was at a small shopping mall. We went behind the shopping mall and got it on behind a dumpster. It worked out well so we met up there again a week later. Except that time, as we were walking away, a dump truck picked the dumpster to empty the trash. Was hilarious at the time but frightening looking back on it. This was about 10 years ago. Disabled toilets in a zoo. Looked up to see two monkeys watching us through the window and wanking. I don't recommend on top of a piano. Very uncomfortable and not at all the experience we envisioned. Once in a, only nearly, empty train carriage. Just sat on his lap facing him in a hiked up dress. All fun and games until you pull into a station and there's a crowd of people on the platform looking directly at you through the window. TBF me and this particular XBF were savages, we do it anywhere. Once in what we thought was an empty hotel ornamental gardens, we realized after that some dude was watching us from his balcony with a glass of wine and a cigarette. The shower, without my glasses, head up to the shower head and my eyes being flooded with water while I'm getting bumped. Bunk bed 100%. I've had one all my life and let me tell you when you're on top and going to town you can't sit up or you smack the shit out of your head. She can't get on top cause she smacks her head. It's just a terrible ducking time. Pun intended. I dated this girl in high school. Her aunt and uncle let us use their pool whenever we wanted, as their house was massive and they wouldn't even be able to tell we were there. Anyway, this girl was trying to get it on in their pool while her uncle was home, he trained with a certain UFC fighter that I will not mention, and I went along with it. Anyways, he saw and confronted us one night at a house party of his, telling me I don't approve while he shakes a margarita with his buffalo-sized arms. That has to be the worst place for me. 
first floor fully carpeted apartment corner unit at the bottom of the hill. Heavy rain flooded the area. Humid weather. Put on a wait list for maintenance to address. Several days pass. Apartment smells rank as duck. Possible mold under carpet. Hottie from work shoots a text out of the blue saying she's been drinking with friends and wants to give me the good suck suck at my place. Time sensitive. One time deal. Immediate response required. Tell her to haul her butt over. Best head I ever received. Smashed over soggy carpet. Possible long-term health effects due to mold. Abandoned power plant at midnight. After the job was done almost fell through a hole on the floor where machinery had been onto god knows what below. That's when we heard the hobo cough. In a literal smokehouse. Lost my virginity with about 50 rings of deer sausage hanging around to dry. My friend and his dad were gone and we were like this seems like a great place. At least when I went home I smelled like venison instead of sex. The secondary conference room of our office. It was mostly unused and we had been fooling around back there sometimes. But, this time we were going at it fully engaged in the act. While that part was great, walking out of the room to find our super conservative CEO slash owner sitting very near the door, where he would never be sitting usually, and immediately knowing we'd been caught, was pretty ducking awkward. Thankfully no one walked in, so even though it became a whole ordeal with HR, I was at least spared that trauma. I'm not sure I could have ever spoken to the man again if he'd walked in on me ducking someone from behind on his conference table. Definitely my first time, outdoors in a field. Thought I was being a gentleman by putting my coat under us not knowing that she was a squirter. I was so pissed off carrying my coat home thinking she'd pissed on it. The joys of being young and stupid. Hanoi Vietnam. I was backpacking and sleeping in dorms. The dorm room had 8 beds, 6 of those beds were filled with my friends one was a stranger. Come back from a night clubbing with an absolutely stunning but trashy British girl. As we get in the room all my friends start cheering me as I climb the ladder to my bunk. The only privacy was this curtain so you could still hear everything. I was having trouble performing as it is and then this German guy shouts, hey can you not do this here? The lovely Brit responds, if you were inside me you wouldn't be saying that would you? Needles to say it was a horrible experience neither of us orgasmed. Had sex in a tent that was too small, on a blow-up mattress that wasn't full enough, in a yard of people that I knew. Was a friend's 18th birthday, and my fiancé and I were both friends of theirs. We all camped out in the front yard, and I think every couple ducked simultaneously. It was very sweaty and loud, and we were all blackout drunk too. I used to be a kindergarten teacher in Thailand at a big international school. At night, my class was unlocked and I could go in any time foreign teachers lived on campus. I met an American girl on Tinder and then she said she wanted to see my class. Took her to my classroom and showed her around. Ended up doing the deed on my desk, she squirted all over the ground. I couldn't find any paper towels so I cleaned it up using papers instead. But the class smelled like sex. Next morning, I'm at work and some of my kids are sitting on that spot with the Lagina juice on it. It was awful. Thankfully I was leaving Thailand the next week but it's such a weird memory. In my GF's downstairs suite on the day her dad decided to come home early, and I didn't find out until I went upstairs where he then had me sit down so he could tell me that most guys only have 3-4 to four shots in the chamber a day, and after that the gun has overheated. He made sure to let me know how impressed he was that in the past 3 hours his daughter and I went at it over 6 times. That conversation felt like hours. Thank you for listening to another B-Town Reddit Stories episode. Hit the subscribe button and check out our channel for more stories. Let us know your opinion about this topic in the comments.